Hello. Today we're going to be discussing testing um, Honeywell Flame Safety Controls. This is a one that's um, probably no longer made. Uh, been around for many years. Uh, the R4795. Uh, we're going to be putting it on the Honeywell FSP1535 uh, tester. Um, what the tester consists of, of course, is a series of control switches and indicator lights. And um, on the uh, control sub base, control sub base looks like this. And it, uh, in the various terminals, two is neutral, one is hot, three, four, five, and six are uh, ignition, motor, uh, main flight, main flight uh, safety, and the um, pilot safety. TT is uh, thermostat control, thermostat indicator, and uh, F is the flame uh, uh, signal, and G is for ground. This is the uh, Q2070A uh, 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 sub base. The way it usually works is your control, flame safety control, has a series of uh, screws which then made up with these and then are, are screwed down. So we want to make sure before we fool with this that it's uh, this control is unplugged. Covers removed and there's the control. You want to make sure that these screws are all tight but not cranked. And again, you want to make it unplugged because this this one here, number two, uh, can be uh, ener possibly energized. Um, and we set up our control thusly. We want to add uh, two components. We want to add the um, flame detector amplifiers of the appropriate type. Today, we're going to be mostly uh, concerned with the uh, ultraviolet amplifier. This one is the R7290A. Uh, it says it's in drop out in three seconds. Uh, I like this design of this because you can actually see the components. They're kind of they're kind of proud of them and they're showing them off. Uh, the various resistors, uh, capacitors, and transistors. Uh, this is a jack for um, plugging into and uh, getting a readout in. Um, DC milli, uh, excuse me, DC microamps. They want to see uh, one and a half micro. That's ten to the minus six uh, amperes in uh, direct current. And the nice touch here, they've actually gold plated the uh, contactors here and here. And this fits right down in here. And this this section locked in. And one more piece of the. Um, of the puzzle is the um, purge card, the uh, ST71A purge card, which comes in um, a, a minimum of seven seconds and can go for as long as 90 seconds. This one happens to be a 30 second uh, card. That's what I happen to have. Uh, the main uh, difference is uh, the value of these resistors and this um, electrolytic capacitor gets a little larger. Again, they've uh, very nicely uh, gold plated the uh, contacts and that fits in this little slot right here and we're all set to go. The other item on this control besides transformer um, and a few uh, resistors and transistors are the um, uh, relays. You have K3 here, K2 and K1 is under this shield here and the uh, safety control or the safety lockout is um, this uh, box here. So let's go ahead and plug her in. Ah, before we plug her in, we want to make sure that all the switches are in the off position. And plug her in. All right, now I'm going to set this up like so. Let's see if we can get a good, good shot of it there. We're going to turn the um, power on. We want to, of course, flip this switch to the appropriate uh, control designation. We want to flip it down to the R4795 power, and the uh, power light should come on. Ah, 
nothing happens. And that's because the um, this switch here, this uh, reset button has popped. And there we are. All right, relay pulls in. That's uh, the K2. And what that's doing is uh, this is an indication of not only power, but also that the, um, the 4795 fan would be running. But nothing else is going to happen until the um, air switch here, or the R4795 air switch. If we flip it up, that, that would be for the R8890 uh, uh, control, as if the uh, uh, TT has been, uh, or the, the call for heat. But uh, we're assuming there's a call for heat. We're assuming that there's power, um, the fan is running, and now the air switch uh, must be proven and pull in. And nothing's going to happen for 30 seconds because we've put in a, a purge card for 30 seconds. And um, at the end of the 30 second pre-purge, the trial for ignition and the pilot light should energize, showing that there is an, an attempt for ignition. Within a few seconds, we're going to have to flip it up to the flame simulator or UV flame simulator. If we had the rectifier amplifier in here, that would be this one. It uh, it would go. So in a few seconds, that should that should be be on. And now we're going to assume there's a flame. The ignition will drop out, and the main unit will come on. And we should now be getting generating BTUs in the um, in the control. Another way we can uh, do this is we can also simulate a, a UV signal with the um, with the uh, one two uh, one two three five one four uh, B control that plugs in the jack here. This is where you would also uh, plug in for, to get a signal, and we're going to turn off the um, UV signal and at the same time we're going to put this terminal at the F we're going to put this jack excuse me in the uh, F terminal so we're going to drop out the um, main we're going to drop out the flame signal okay now we're it's going to uh, go for a pre-purge so we got another 30 seconds. We still got the uh, air proven switch pulled in. So it's going to go through a uh, another trial for ignition. And um, the various uh, relay will pull in. If we were to touch this now before a um, a call for heat. Okay. Now we're going to There we are. Now we're going to the other way to test it is to um, push this um, UV test. I should drop it out. Ah, a little different. All right, let me pull this out. Put the flame simulator on and push the UV test. Okay, now it locks out. Relay. Now I don't have to wait for it to go through its various tests. You want to read and follow the um, specific instructions to go through its various tests um, while it's thinking about things. I wanted to uh, show you, this is the uh, rectification amplifier that would be plugged in if you had a photocell or a flame. Ah! When I had the UV flame simulator was still on, and so after at the end of its uh, pre-purge uh, uh, pre cycle, as soon as it saw that there was a, uh, what it saw was a flame that heated up the uh, circuit. You don't want to fire the unit if, the, if there's already a flame in the, um, in the, in the unit. So the uh, control tripped out. And you have to wait a few minutes for it to reset. Yep, there it is. I want to reset the controls. And now it's on, essentially on standby. Let me go back to this. Um, 
Oh, I could switch there. All the um, circuits in here are again visible. There seem to be fewer of them than there are in the um, UV amplifier. And all of them are readily identifiable except for <laughs> this guy here. I'd surely like to know what that, that one is there. That's definitely an oddball looking circuit. This guy's about to trip again. And in a few minutes. There we are. And so that's the um, that's the circuit. And I hope that uh, if any of you have any questions or uh, if I've uh, made any errors or something you uh, uh, don't understand, um, ah, please let me know. Thanks.